Hi guys. What's up? This um, rosy, fresh rosy makeup look. So this is dedicated to all the beginners out there. I've been getting requests from my own friends to do a tutorial um, on um, an, on a simple makeup for beginners. So I I hope that my take on this is. Right, so I hope that my take on this is useful and if you are interested, please keep on watching. Right, so for all beginners out there, before you start to do your makeup, um, I would highly recommend that you do your skincare uh, regime first. So if you want to see how I do mine, please check out um, my other video on my daytime skincare regime, which is here. Okay, so um, let's get started. First step, use a primer. So this is my primer for today. So I'm using this from It Cosmetics. It's a, it's a CC cream. It's called Your Skin But, but Better CC Cream. Yeah, I've been using this a lot. Right, so for first timer, for beginners, um, I know that foundation can be quite intimidating because that's how I felt when I first um, started um, doing makeup. Um, I felt like foundation is too heavy on the face and I didn't like the feeling. So I resorted to something like this. It's, it's not as thick as foundation, but it's buildable, okay, especially for this one. So if you want something buildable, something that you can use as a foundation as well, you can always buy this from the It Cosmetics. So I use this kind of brush. It's, this is from Body Shop. It's the foundation brush. I don't know if they still uh, sell this, but this one has been around with me for at least 10 years. Or maybe 12 or 15. Yes, and I'm not kidding. Um, this is actually my first ever makeup brush that my mother bought for me. Right, so I'm going to build the coverage. Take three pumps more. is I'm going to start to conceal okay so for beginners I wouldn't really suggest that you do too much step into your makeup routine so um, well normally I would do some correcting because obviously I have some areas that I need to correct like my under eye area and the corner of my mouth but as a beginner I think that would be too much for you to handle because when you apply um, too many layers on the skin, it can be a bit difficult to blend them layer by layer. To beginners, when blending a concealer, I would highly suggest that you use a blending sponge, a beauty blender. This one is from Real Technique. This is easy. You can just soak it in water and then you know um, make sure to squeeze the excess and then just blend away. Beginners, you don't really need to get yourself a um, 180 ringgit um, loose powder or anything. You can just get something like this to set your makeup. This works wonders. It's great, especially if you have um, oily prone skin type. Okay, it comes with this. So apply. show you how you can bronze or contour your face to add a little bit of uh, structure to your makeup 
by using a powder uh, bronzer or contour okay so I use this for the cosmetics <music> Say if you have a big forehead, you want to make it smaller. If you have a wide face like myself, I have a square kind of face shape, so I'm gonna make it slimmer. So you want to contour the edges, right? And if you have a big nose like myself, so you want to contour the nose bridge and the nose trail. It's very important. And if you have, and if you want to create a pout, you want to contour underneath the lower lip. Because that's going to create shadow and so as you can see there's more shadow down here so it looks like you have a pout, a good pout. Right, so I'm going to be using this uh, Kayla White Freestyle Highlighter Duo in Girl Next Door and Chic Greek. Okay, so I'm going to be taking um, this color, Chic Greek. just gonna be doing the crease okay so next step right so I'm gonna use a lip lip cream okay lip matte lip matte lipstick from velvet vanity so this is product that Tati reviewed so it's a Malaysian product and when Tati reviewed this it went viral okay and um, but the color that she reviewed was another color. Um, I can't remember what color it was, but I'm I'm using Chip Trills today. There you go. So this is a really nice rosy color. Yes, I'm just gonna take a little bit. So when you're applying something that is very something that is dark and intense uh, well this is not that dark but it's quite intense so my tip is to take just a little bit and pat it into the back of your hand first sort of warm up the product and then take the excess on the same fingertip and just directly tap that onto your right, so the next step, okay. Now I still have a bit more, so what I do is okay, just take the excess and it's rosy so you want to apply a little bit of the bridge of the nose over here you want to look like you have a rosy blush kind of so the next step is to so take this color So the next step is to take your index finger and take a good amount of the highlight here in Girl Next Door and just sort of pack that onto the inner corner. So next step is to take a black or a brown um, eyeliner and line your upper upper lash line okay so the upper lash line is here okay right underneath the lash where the where the lash comes from the root okay. 
Next is the um, so I'm using this from Silky Girl. This is Silky Girl Perfect Shape Sharp Sharp Matte Eyeliner. So this is quite user friendly and it's cheap and it's drugstore. So beginners easy peasy. Okay. So first, always warm it up at the back of your hand. Like so if you have small Hooded eyes like mine. Um, you don't want to line all over. You just want to focus on the outer corner here. Okay. So that will be the first step. Just line the upper lash line, okay, towards the outer corner from the center towards the outer corner. Maybe not not so center okay just somewhere here at the edge of your black pupil you can see you can use that as a guide okay the outer edge of your pupil here so the pupil is there so you want to start lining on here and then just drag that until the very end now next step okay is to flick okay so Look at where your eyebrow end and use that as a guide to do your ring. Now, for beginners, I would suggest that you do feline, fleet, whatever it is that you find fancy. Just do a simple wing line first. So, just use that as a guide. Create a straight line now you see that I have a crease here so the longer it is the harder it will be for you to create the wing so try not to drag this line further too far from the crease folding here okay so not too far Create a slanting line and just fill up, okay? Which is the small. So you're create. You're actually creating a small triangle at the outer corner of your eye, but the this side of the triangle is sort of elongated towards the eyebrow, okay? So as you can see, it's a triangle, but it's not a perfect triangle, okay? So what I've done is to widen my eye a little bit because my eyes are hooded and they're quite small. So I want to widen that up a little bit. Right? Okay, so I'm going to do the other eye. So the next step is mascara. This is my go-to mascara at the moment. Now, I wouldn't suggest this for beginners because I don't have anything that's beginner friendly at the moment. So, I'm going to show you how to use this as a beginner. Or actually, you have something like a card or this, um, something stiff and flat to help assist you apply it on your mascara. Make sure that you coat the very root. Right, so the eyes are pretty much done. So I'm going to now apply a brow mascara on my eyebrows. So I'm gonna take a spoon, okay? I'm just gonna brush that upward like that. Okay, 
just gonna take this. This is from Aiko. Okay. Right, so before we do the lipstick, so I'm gonna take this brush and take back the highlighter. I take cheek prick and just gently First, I'm going to take a base line or any lip balm of your choice to hydrate my lips. Now, when you use a lip matte, especially when you have dry lips like mine, um, you want to hydrate it first. Okay, this sort of prep, it's kind of like prepping um, step. So, because we're going for a rosy look, um, we don't want a lip color that's intense, so I'm going to use a brush, so you can use any lip brush of your choice. Just take a little bit of the product on the applicator and apply it on flower there, quite a little amount, and then add more wherever you deem fit. I super duper love the color, the undertone is beautiful. Alright guys, so this is the final look. Uh, okay, so I hope um, for beginners out there, um, don't be afraid to use makeup. I hope these steps were easy enough for you to follow. And if you want to know where you can get these products, um, please check out the description box below. And um, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. So see you guys soon. Bye!